Hey Cancer, I'm here bringing you a very important message from the universe, but first we're going to tap into your vibe, your energy, your aura, and see where you're at Cancer, what's going on with my lovely Cancer family, okay? Welcome to my new Cancer fam, welcome back to my vibe tribe, I am she, the boss lady B, thank you so, so much for joining me you guys, you can definitely check out my description box for any and everything that you may want to know, okay, all of my personal reading information, uh, session, all that good stuff, y'all, is down there in the description box below, okay? I keep my fellow Cancers up to date on everything that you need to know to make sure that you're living your best life, Cancer, okay? So, if that sounds good to you, I uh, cater to the Cancers because I am a Cancer, so definitely make sure you hit that subscribe button, okay? Turn on your notification bell so you can be part of the Vibe Tribe and be clued in too, okay? But we're going to get right into this reading, Cancer. We're going to pick up on your, your current energy, current vibe, your aura around cancer, currently spirit, clear and accurate messages. All right, already. So look, ooh, cancer. This is so funny because I, this is so crazy because I feel like this message is really floating around cancer. And no matter where you are in this journey, I definitely feel like cancer. This is the year of cancer, the entrepreneur. And that's why I felt, I, I felt like heavily about doing, bringing the entrepreneur readings back. Okay. But somebody is still, I feel like you're between worlds because, so we got the time to go card that came out. It's the number 41. Four and one is five. Five is the number of change. Okay. Um, but it came out in the reverse. All right. So it's like, you're feeling stuck. You're feeling, I feel like, and honestly, Cancer, I feel like wherever you are, whoever you are, I ain't trying to be rude, but you already know it's time for you to go, but you just not going. And like all the conditions are there for you to go. Like it is time for you to go, but um, I feel like you're in this constant state of questioning or worrying. And a lot of this, or, you know, for the heavy part of the energy for you, it may not resonate for everyone. Everyone's not going to want to be an entrepreneur, but I do feel like there's something that can't say you want to do independently for sure it is going to be self-employment for um the majority of the cancer energy i feel like there's something that's more rewarding that you want to move towards there's something and it may not even necessarily be paying more than what you are getting now but you're like you're going nowhere it's a dead end okay all streets lead to a dead end well not all the streets but the one that you're walking and it's like you're deciding you're, you're you're just staying you know you're in this state of wondering all right but i feel like you know you're there there's some resources around you you may feel like you don't have because that could be um part of the doubt or the fear around this situation cancer or it's even you know moving on to a new place a new relationship a new it's just like it's time for you something to change but you may be kind of fighting against the change okay and for whatever reason, we're going to see. I'm going to read the additional message <clears throat> for this uh, card. It says, um, when this card is inverted, examine your relationship with change. So, yeah, change can be extremely scary. Even if you are, um, even if you initiate change, cancer, it can be scary. Like, I know I can relate to that. Like, you know, the status quo, we talked about that. I feel like that energy sh has shown up in it. Even that was the money and career if i'm not mistaken the um going out of your comfort zone or getting out of your comfort zone your comfort zone is what is, was the blockage around you being where you want to be especially financially okay but okay back to the message it says um change can be extremely scary we know that it's time to walk away from unhealthy situations or relationships but you're resisting out of fear okay anxiety or lack of self-confidence this is a loving wake up call from your guardian angels that you're right, that they're right beside you. Um, but you have to take a step first. Okay. You do have to, it's like, you have to, um, you know, you got to help God help you. You know what I mean? Like if you want a new job, you can't just be sitting at your, sitting at your job and praying that you get an, another one and it just fall out of the sky. Like, no, what are you doing? Are you, um, what's it called applying to new jobs like you know are you what are you doing or do you have this master plan where you don't want to work for anybody you want to be self-employed you have something that's more um rewarding it's just more fulfilling for you and i feel like 
the reason why you aren't fulfilled, unfulfilled, it's been showing up around you, Cancer. Like, I ain't trying to give you the same message, but it definitely does feel like it is having to kind of like be beaten to you a little bit. And I'm not even trying to say like I'm sitting up here all mighty and thou because I'm I can definitely resonate with it and I know where I'm being stagnant. So I don't let me don't let me fool you, okay? I'm just the messenger, okay? But cancer, there's you you're facing a dead end. It's like you can't keep doing the same thing and want something different. So if you're wanting something different, cancer, it's time to go for it. And you have to take the first step. Like help your angels help you, okay? Like, you know, a miracle can happen for sure, you know, but help, like help yourself, help you. And that's why I said there's some energy around you having, you do have resources around you. You may not feel like you do, but you do. I definitely feel like there's a lot of questioning that you got going on though. A lot of, you may be questioning the commitment. And so that's the thing. It's like, you know, do question your commitment. That's not a bad thing. Question your commitment to what you're staying with, what you're, what you're choosing to stick around with, what you're not willing to let change. You're holding on to it for what reason? Like, let's, like, let's really get down to the bottom of it. Like, really ask yourself, okay, why, why, why am I really truly afraid? And I even asked that, like in the last reading, I asked y'all to put some of the goals, some of the things that you wanted to do. And I love that y'all, you know, you have all these great goals. And that's why I said a lot of you all do have something really fulfilling to work towards. But, um, a lot of us, we allow fear, doubt to get in the way. And I say us, like I say us because like I said, I relate. Okay. Um, but it's like cancer. We got go along with the change, okay? I'm gonna pull a message from the universe. Message from the uh from the universe card to see for cancer spirit in this energy. Wanting to um look. Oh my god, cancer! Like literally, okay. I'm just telling y'all, I just be the messenger, okay? I'm just saying. But you can't do the same thing over and over and expect a different result, okay? Like, you, I, I literally just said that. And I'm laughing because it sounds good and it was so easy to come out of my mouth. But, li like, literally, y'all, I can relate. So I want y'all to know, like, we gonna work through this together, okay? Change comes from thinking thoughts that you've never thought before and that's gonna be the scary part that's the scary part y'all i'm gonna tell y'all all about it but anyway um and showing up to meet them down streets um you've never walked down before so yeah look and it, i i find it so iconic or so ironic that it's uh it's a uh, the sense of like you leaving the comfort of your home okay in this time to go it's like look you got to get out of your house too Ooh, I'm feeling a little red. Okay, but listen, you got to get out of your house. This could be like you, um, you need to connect with other people, relationships. And I'm not even saying romantic wise, but there's like, you know, um, when you travel to another country, when you travel outside of your community, when you travel outside of what you know, those experiences are really, really enriching for you. And I feel like that's the, that's the energy here. And I'm not necessarily saying that you got to have a passport and be jet set into the next, the next, uh, country or whatever i'm not saying that at all but there is somewhere where you are supposed to expand travel or keep going but it's like you're you're holding your own self back like spirit doesn't look pack your bags got you a plane ticket all of that and you like your little cancer self like mm, but i'm comfortable in my bed we don't necessarily gotta go but like if you want something different which you do like I, that's just period point blank because it keeps coming up you do you want something different in your life i'm not saying that your life may be the most miserable thing and you may actually be kind of happy in your life that's probably actually the problem working for you is that you're comfortable with what it is even though you don't like it you're comfortable with it and so you know to think bigger thoughts like that takes that that that, that takes courage guts like that's territory we ain't necessarily walked on before. So we nervous about it. It's like, you know, I don't can this support me? I, I get you, I feel you, but um and I feel like if you decide to take this first step, it's like that's when your angels, your spirit team God is like really gonna be rallying behind you and you're gonna be celebrating something very soon, okay? You'll be so full of joy and happiness, it will almost seem out of this world how suddenly it all happens for you, okay? Be ready for it. Expect it because it's happening, okay? And that's what I'm saying, like you you really don't have a choice in this change. 
the thing that you have a choice about is how you react to the change, how you acclimate to the change, okay? If you keep resisting it, it's going to be messy for you. It's going to be miserable for you, okay? But if you allow yourself to go with the flow and take that first step, you ain't got to run the whole staircase. And, you know, sometimes that's how we get overwhelmed. Like, y'all, that's how I can say I can I can be vulnerable and, re and tell you I can relate to it. Because sometimes, and you're probably like me, Cancer, we get this big idea or this big dream, right? And we see the very end result result and you know we may start out we may not even start out on but if we start out on it or try to think towards it it just seems so big and overwhelming like there's no way we're gonna get there right but no like I want you to take the first step because there's some divine magic around the situation like you got you got out of this world support like yeah the rules of the world and how the things of the world work you this may take years for you to accomplish but because you are connected with the divine you're connected with spirit like this situation like you got the battery pack already behind you it's like you're gonna shoot off past everything and everybody okay like it's gonna and it's all gonna happen suddenly that's so funny because y'all was thinking about getting a tattoo that said it's all happening like and i think somebody i'm not gonna go too deep into that but yeah it's all happening it's all happening, okay? Whether you feel like it's happening or not, it's all happening. But literally, like I said, you can't keep doing the same thing if you want something different, okay? And we talked about this too, your goals, your desire, your dream or whatever. Like, really sit down with that. Think about it, okay? Yeah, there. I feel like there's a lot of confusion or a lot of questioning that you got going on. You're trying to see what option works best for you, what resources work best for you, but... It's time to do something that you've never done before. And yeah, this self-employment energy um, underlying, I definitely feel like for a lot of you, this is stepping out. And like spirit is is almost like begging. It's, that's what it's giving. It's giving keep sweat begging for you to like allow this change to happen, this transformation to happen. What else does cancer need to know in this energy spirit? Let's pull some tarot and see. All right, because the five of cups, see, eight of swords, there's something, yeah, you're overthinking something, Cancer. Stop overthinking it. You have a really good idea, but you, like, you're all up in your head about it. All up in your mind. Okay, five of cups. There's that five energy and you're see what it is. You could be thinking because honestly, whatever it is that spirit is trying to change in your life or trying to get you away from, whether it be a job, whether it be a group of friends, whether it be a relationship, whatever this is, however it's resonating for you, spirit has let you know in more ways than one that it's been time for you to go. And it's been very, very subtle. It's been very, very subtle. Like you knew and you currently know, but you, you've been staying comfortable or you've been trying to stay comfortable. And that's why I said, honestly, you're not really going to have a choice. It's just more so how comfortable are you going to be with the situation? Cause it's like the change has to happen. Like you, you want, you want this change, but you just don't want what's coming with the change. That's what it feels like cancer. You're in this energy, this five of cups where you're looking at this situation that could technically really be crumbling right before your eyes. Like for some of you, you may have lost a job and like, yeah, that's a, that's a sucky situation. Like who wants to lose their job? But honestly, that's going to be the best thing that happens to somebody because that's what's going to put that fire under you to make yourself. Okay. Like, yeah, yeah. Look, yes. It's going to give you that reality check and see this little energy around it being green, definitely around your money. It's like, you're going to get a um, reality check. Look, yeah. Look, as I said that it's a blessing in disguise. Like, yeah, somebody came and burst your bubble or bust your balloon, but it's like, look at the, it's still a party. It's a celebration. It's like really what you're thinking is happening for your downfall or like happening to you. It's really happening for you so that you can arrive at destiny. And that's what you really truly desire because that's why it's manifesting for you. That's what you really truly desire, but I need you to be able to see it. But you're overthinking the situation and you have to change how you have to change how you think. And that is that is the challenge, Cancer. I'll tell you for sure. Um, it's a challenge, you know. It can it can definitely be worked on and be done, but there's some things you gotta do things that you haven't done to get stuff you haven't had before, okay? And so if you're looking, you're wanting things that you haven't had before, you gotta look at what you've been doing and do something different. All right, you've been zigging, it's time to zag. What else does cancer need to know in this energy spirit? Ooh, nine of cups wanted to come out. The patient witch. 
uh, is the hangman. See, this is where I feel like you are. That eight of pentacles is here at the bottom of the deck too. I feel like, yeah, you're kind of hung up. You're sitting around thinking. It's like you're in limbo about something. And that's why you're in this five of cups. That's why this five of cups energy is here too. Because you are you are technically connected to something. And it could definitely be emotionally. I feel like we talked about that cancer. You're emotionally connected to a situation. And it's like take your, your emotions out of it. It's a dead end. It's not going anywhere. All right? It's time for you to find your new happiness. Your new, your new avenue. The nine of cups coming out. And I feel like still too, yeah, um, see you, you practicing gratitude around your situation, like your world, like I said, you could have experienced a tower moment, like for somebody, it could have been the fact that you lost a job, but it's like this job is going to push you out of that stagnation that you've been feeling like that is what's going to, or you deciding to walk away from it and you being in this state of gratitude and grateful for the things that you have. It may not have been the same as when you were employed or whatever, but you being in this space of gratitude is what's going to attract that abundance that you desire towards you and it's going to push you in the places it's going to push you along to destiny okay where you're always taken care of you know what i mean i feel like yeah cancer you've gotten too comfortable sitting still it's time to go like it's time to go yeah but you're split I feel like there's a lot of confusion and you're being very, very picky, very critical, very like logical about the situation, which isn't a bad thing. It's okay to be logical about a situation. Um, but I feel like too, it's like, know that you don't, you may not always know what's best for you. Okay. Know that spirit knows what's best for you. Okay. I'm just going to say it like that. And I feel like right now it's like you're fighting your better half, your higher self. You see the fives are here again. The 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 number of five, that's five, five, five. Okay. It's like your time is here. The ding ding ding. If you were at Vegas, ding ding ding, five, five, five. It's time, it's like time for change. But I feel like you're being very picky about the change, okay? Like you're being very critical. It may not be looking like how you thought it was gonna look, you know. Because it may, it may be a situation like, you know, <laughs> you may be being forced out. Say, this could be someone's story. It may not resonate, but just take it as an example. It's like you could be being forced out of your house, out of a place that you've been comfortable with. Um, and you see it as like a negative situation. And I'm not taking away from it that it definitely could be a negative situation, you know, because um, that gives you something to quote unquote worry about. But it's like that's the best thing that happens to you because then you find this this you find out that you want it to be kind of independent you want it to maybe kind of take a trip experience this it pushes you to make a choice to go here or there like decisions that you may not have made had you still been in the comfort of your home still in the comfort of your comfort zone okay it's like you're gonna find you're gonna find new avenues you're gonna go towards what is fulfilling to you what you desire, your nine of cups, like that's what I'm saying. And it looks different for everyone, but I do feel like a part of this nine of cups is cancer being self-employed. And I feel like too, there's just like a lack of confidence um, around self-employment. And I'm just here to tell you society wants you to feel that way. Okay, but you can definitely work past that. Uh, Let's see, I'm gonna pull one more the world showed up so yeah look there is there is going to be accomplishment and that's why i said honestly the change is going to happen whether you uh, uh roll with it or not like things are changing around you but i feel like this is confirmation to say that you taking that step like you're it's going to be an accomplishment. There is going to be something to celebrate all right and it's going to feel as though yeah there's some magic around it Okay, you're going to be able to celebrate a job well done. It's like you followed your better judgment. Yeah, when you were going back and forth, up and down, like, should I stay? Should I go? Um, you know, life has kind of gotten a little, you know, crazy. And you're like, I don't know. But I feel like, yeah, you used your better judgment. You trusted your intuition. All the signs were telling you to go. Like, to go this direction, to go that direction. 
all the signs were there and you followed your gut, which may have definitely been against your better, like, logical judgment, okay? Because logical judgment may say, well, stay in this situation because we don't necessarily know about this situation over here, but we know this situation, you know, at least we know this will get handled, this will be paid, this, whatever you're trying to tell yourself, um, but you're like miserable. And, and I want you to really think about it like that cancer. It's like you're talking yourself into staying miserable instead of just allowing things to change. Like don't resist the change. The two of wands showed up. Your decisions are what decide, decide your future cancer. Your decision of what you make to move forward is like, this is the turning point. Like, are you going to decide to stay and like, stay miserable in this in this trance of transformation or are you going to decide to take the first step and the next step and move forward but look you go from the two of wands to the king of wands and i feel like it's like look there's going to be exponential growth okay that's what i'm saying you skip a whole lot of steps all right and for some of you i feel like definitely this decision that you're making it's you may not see it yet, but it's connected to other people or like your story is going to help other people with the king of wands. It's like you're going to be out there or like other people are going to see you. You're going to be the guiding light towards somebody that may find themselves in this predicament too, where it's like you're hanging, you're hanging somewhere in stagnation. It's like you're in limbo instead of moving forward. Clarify this two of wands. Uh oh. And I saw the two of um swords. So yeah, it's like you there's this energy of and it showed up again. It's like there's this energy of contemplation or like having to decide between two things. But the ten of swords showed up here again. And that's why I'm saying something has ended. It's like time, it's a dead end, cancer. It's over with. And instead of, you know, being sad and trying to mourn it, like look at the possibility of the newness. Okay. Clarify this five of cuts for cancer. What is cancer sad? Mm. The seven of swords tried to slide out there. And it's like, yeah, I feel like you're self-sabotaging self yourself. But look, the five showing up again, five of pentacles. All right, but nothing, that's why I'm saying nothing is as hopeless as it seems. You think it's hopeless because you're still expecting something to be the same. And like, it can't be the same and change at the same time, Cancer. Like, it just can't happen. The emperor is here at the bottom of the deck. And it's like, look, so I will say too, I do feel like there's a heavy energy of you wanting to be in independent or it's like you want to call the own, your own shots in life it's like you want to be the authority of your own life that comes with major responsibility cancer i want you to know that and this is not to say that you know against being employed or being self-employed but like it, it costs to be the boss okay i'm just gonna say that um but there's a situation that look you're finding i feel like if you take your your first step towards you'll find where your safe haven is like your angels already have your back. There are resources at your disposal. You just got to do something different. Like literally in the, and I can't believe that that message came out because literally that's what I had said. Um, let's see. I may pull one more. message for cancer so we have the hanyol hanyol um this is the silver ore so look this is that um trusting your look and abundance is here at the bottom of the deck so you have to have faith about your abundance trusting your psychic ability and that's what i'm saying sometimes cancer when you're trusting your instinct your intu intuition or whatever you may not necessarily have concrete logical signs to support your claims okay but you just have to go on that you know what you know, all right? This is definitely some, um, I feel like definitely a energy around you having, feathers are going to be important. <coughs> Excuse me. The feathers showed up or popping out to me. But this is the number four. And see, this is a number four card. It's like a step back, but a step forward, Okay. So it says, Archangel Haniel's name means the grace of God, all right? And she appears in the silvery hue of the moon. She is known for helping people to develop their personal spiritual gifts. 
<coughs> excuse me, y'all. Okay. She is also the archangel focused on women's issues as well as their health. All right. So Haniel is like the great moon goddess of the archangel realm. Along with all of the issues the moon represents topics like femininity, all right, intuition, emotion, and home. So that's all cancer. That's like cancer embodiment, okay? Luminous silver energy is described as the color of goddess energy, and it is naturally heightens the vibration of home. Your first experience of silver light was in the womb, all right, where your mother's body literally created a safe and sacred space for you to grow. Directly connected to intuition and the glow of the moon, silver light comes to you as a reminder to trust your intuition. That's what Spirit is saying. Look, trust yourself, Cancer. It is also a message that your sacred space is sacred and reflects beauty as well as connection, okay? So I feel like, look, Cancer, definitely, it's like you're being untrusting of your own self, your own intuition, but like you have this gift. And a lot of you, this gift for sh like what this is connected to is you stepping into your spiritual gift, okay? And that 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 road is rocky. I'm not even gonna sugarcoat it for you. It is, but all all roads lead to your abundance. It's a number thirteen card. Three and one is what four. It's like trust your. It's like your intuition is leading you to X X um marks the spot. Yeah, you may have necessarily like a map in front of you. But it's like you have to trust your instincts. If, you know, the map saying, oh, yeah, go this way. But your intuition, you got to trust your gut. And I know it may it may seem very counter counteractive. counter. It may feel even counterintuitive in the moment. But I'm telling you, it's just the logical side of your brain. And I'm not telling you not to have common sense. But I am telling you that, like, you just know. And you just got to know that you know. And once you, like, allow yourself to really know that you know and trust that and have confidence in it, you'll start following your hunches and move into it. Like, I'm t listen, I'm going to tell you all about it, okay? But um, definitely, look, that's what I'm saying, following towards your abundance. Abundance is a term that most people associate with financial success, but it doesn't just stop there, okay? It is true. Um, but however, abundance can be experienced as a great deal of love in your life, all right? It can manifest itself to it as vibrant health or even wonderful opportunities that will lead you to financial prosperity in the future. So that's why I'm saying you may be looking at a situation and be trying to see like a million dollars up front, but you don't realize, like you ain't even taking the first step to get towards, to the to the road to get to the million. Like, and I'm not saying... Um, that money is money is everything like money isn't the definition of success but let's face it cancer y'all want financial abundance we want financial abundance okay and that is a part of what abundance is okay abundance is manifesting in itself into your life at this moment and you just have to know how to enjoy it in all the ways that the universe is given to bless you now. That's why I'm saying like you have to be open to the blessing in disguise that you've received. Okay. As I said that, um, what blessing in disguise does cancer need to be aware of spirit? Let's see. So the lovers wanted to come out on top of that. But look, yeah, the page of pentacles, y'all. When life gives you lemon, make enchanted lemonade. So it's like a situation may have gone sour. But don't look at just it being sour. Like, look at what you can come up with from that. Like, you know, that's what it's giving here, Cancer. The lovers um try to come out on top of that or with that. but And the lover speaks of uh, important choices. And that's what you need to make now. The important choice. Are you going to follow your gut, your intuition, or are you going to follow what you think you know or whatever? Like, look. And as I picked that up, it was like following your divine self. I can't see it again. But, yeah, I definitely saw the silhouette. It's like, are you going to follow? It's like, are you going to follow behind your divine self, your higher self, and trust yourself? Or are you going to follow the crowd or what you've been doing that ain't really got you what you really want? You know, and I'm not saying that what you got right now is not, I mean, I'm actually telling you to be grateful for it, wherever you are, whatever you have. But like, if you want something different, you have to do something different. Okay. 
We're going to do it together, all right? Because I just read myself down, all right? But anywho, I'm going to leave it here, y'all. Um, Talk to me in the comments, y'all. Let me know how this reading resonates with you. Hopefully, I ain't step on your toes because, yeah, my feelings is lower. But anywho, in the meantime, in between time, until next time, I love you.